Uh, people being professional on the radio. We're back on the air. <laughs> what, Ellie? <laughs> yes, I am. Brilliant. Okay. So, the experimental. Back in the studio. What sort of genre was you? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah, we, I'll, I'll tell you, we, we're a driven indie rock band. Oh, yeah. don't, don't ask me the question again. <laughs> so how would you categorise your music? Uh, uh, orally. Yeah. Fair enough, do I get a harmonica for that? Yeah, but you I do. But thrown but at you. Yeah. Now, now, Ali was just um, asking you some questions there, because uh, you've just supported the Hoosiers, haven't you? That's right, we how, have. How was that for you? Brilliant. We're just we're just saying off air that um, for us it's big big opportunity. I mean, exit to Phoenix is a great venue. They had sold out all of the standing tickets, so just a couple of seating tickets. So it was I think 500 people. The promoter told us. Um, yeah, and we got it was the just whole, really good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, we got the whole sort of yeah. one more song, one more song chant, which obviously as a support band you just have to sort of smile and wave and walk yeah. off gutted. But but yeah, we, we, we only got that because we did walk off and then walk back on. Oh yeah, to collect our stuff. Probably, yeah, probably, and also, yeah. probably shouldn't have asked my mum to shout it, but yeah. Yeah, it, was, it, it was worth it. It was worth the fight. It's like that awkward moment when you make that good, that big goodbye to someone, and then you've forgotten something. You just sort of go back <laughs> yeah. Out. When you meet Sorry. someone in the supermarket, you know you're going to meet them eight oh, times more. Isn't that so awkward? Isn't it? <laughs> but no, it was um, yeah, great, great opportunity for us, and it's what we want to be doing. To be honest, how did it come about? Um, they heard our music online. He um, he googled uh, indie bands in Devon, and yeah. we were there. He had a couple of recommends off of the co-promoter. Um, he listened to their stuff, listened to our stuff, and he liked ours and went with us. So why would he not? Yeah, well, that's very kind of you to say. That's quite exciting. Give you some wasn't it? It's the first time that's happened where someone's phoned us up and said, "Would you like to do this?" and you think it's a wind up and it isn't yeah there was that proper right yeah we'd love to once I see our name on the on the um, Hoosiers website yeah. on the Phoenix website I'll start selling tickets for you and uh, yeah and there we were up in lights so uh, yeah it was good, good okay fun. so if, if people want to find out more about the experimental then how do they do that www.theexperimental.co.uk yeah so yeah if you go to go to that it takes you to everywhere I mean we've got a YouTube channel Facebook Twitter Instagram Spotify all of the above but um, if you go to the website everything's from there it's easier than trying to remember i mean generally the sort of the hash of the the tags are at the experimental apart from twitter which is experimental underscore free because all of the experimentals are gone which is yeah. annoying um but yes but if you go to the website, from the website yeah, yeah. the experimental.co.uk you'll find links to everything we do from there. and they can buy your music there as well and yes i think there's uh, yeah the links to itunes and merch so if you want to buy a t-shirt of which we've got some actually for you as, oh, a, as a special present really? for having us in tonight. Oh, so, uh, I love a t shirt. So, yeah, so yeah, I thought you can. You bought a special present there, didn't you? Oh, no, we meant to talk about that off air. Oh, we? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. no we, we bought you guys a Snickers because last time we were with oh. you, we had a whole conversation about marathons and Snickers. Yeah. And we did Google to see if we could get something that said marathon on it, but. Alas, no. You guys so, are yeah. T-shirts and Snickers. What more could you want, Ali? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Marathon bar. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Are we gonna Are we gonna fight over the T-shirt? April fruit. Oh, it's two T-shirts. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a ladies oh. and a gentleman. Oh, oh, we can wear nothing. It's not professional. We can wear matching T-shirts <laughs> on a <laughs> oh, Sunday God, morning. Yeah. In bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can share. Yeah. yeah. Kill me now. And we can share the Snicker. The marathon. The marathon. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. In my okay. heart, it'll always be a marathon. Yeah. <laughs> not a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've lost it now. Uh, uh, experimental, would you like to play a song for us? Oh, right we would, we right. I'll let them tell me what song it is while I'm uh, yeah, well, my we're, microphone we're, back. This, this, this next song is one that there's little snippets of every now and again, actually on Facebook and things like that. Um, it's one of our new songs, but we're going to play it very, very differently. Yeah, no one's uh, heard this before in this way. Fair enough. Okay, <laughs> so including us, yeah. Right. This one is um, what do we want? Okay, over to you. Don't you say that you came with nothing to say? Open your eyes into the night. We're holding the line. The call is to fight before there's a war Into the night, open your eyes, holding the line What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? Say that you lost, it's 
more than a game A line in the sand Making a stand Holding the line It's a call It's to fight Before there's a war Into the night Open your eyes We're holding the line If you've something to say, get in the way What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it now? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it now? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? Amazing. I'll get clap again. Yeah, clap yourself. You deserve a clap yeah, for that. It's like Steve Wright. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo -woo. Do, you remember, do you remember when Steve Wright first came on? Uh, back in, oh no, none of you are old enough. Are I, you? I, I definitely don't. Have, yeah. no. having, no, I, having, I am old enough. Having already disclosed that we were no. all three at the same time, I'm definitely going to go in with <laughs> no on that one. What I'm going to do is tune in the minute because that wasn't sounding great from my end. <laughs> it, sounded, it, sounded, it sounded fine for me. It sounded fine. <laughs> I've lost track of myself again. Ali, I'll ask an important and, and probing question. Important and probing? Yes. When are you guys playing next? Oh, good question. Yes. Right, we well, are. Thank you. We, yeah, we are at the Apple and Parrot on the 24th of November. Um, we've got a good lineup that mm. night, actually. We've got a band called um, Council of Giants from Totnes. Yes, yes, so they've got in contact. They, yeah. they have, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, really nice lads. They messaged me ages ago saying about support slots and. Um, we just didn't have anything going and yeah and then this one came up we offered them it and they jumped at the chance and um, a band called Small Doses um, okay. they were a two piece um, very exciting yeah got to check of, them out but, yeah, okay pretty, Small Doses pretty, yeah. pretty new right on down the down circuit so, um, so yeah they're playing and a band called Feed Them to the Forest which are a, tour, a touring like, sort oh. of oh, I like e emo sort of indie rock sort of emo type oh, band like a bit they're travelling a long um, way for that gig yeah I can't remember but they're sort of York based mm. or something when is it yeah. when is it uh, 24 Friday the 24th Friday November yeah. Friday the 24th oh that's ringing a bell I've been invited to uh... yeah Placebo I, I, I oh, placebo is that the Fr placebo. placebo night yes yeah, yeah no I haven't been invited to that personally by Brian a bit, bit, <laughs> yeah. bit, a little, not, I thought you might have been after letting you down last time I know, I have, uh, I know. So, so they need a support because we're all about well that do you know what days. the band that's supporting them um, it's, the names escape my head now they're, 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 they are uh, a lesser known band I think I, I checked yeah. them out today. I, I, I put one of their tweets. Out. I think they got about three thousand likes on their page. Wow! Yeah, that is good. good. That is good. Yeah. yeah, have you seen them before, Placebo? I haven't. No, I do. I do like yeah. Placebo. Do but I placebo. haven't seen them live. I, and having seen the tickets come up first time round, I couldn't make the first one and I hadn't applied. Yeah. In there. So yeah. So and then obviously we're gigging on this one. So it's a hard life. But yeah, yeah I, I, would, I would like to see them. Actually, sometimes some of the, the demos that Darren sent through for for us yeah. on first listen remind me of Placebo. So. So yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely into them. So yeah. I am fairly sure, yeah, because the 24th of November was ringing a bell for another reason as well, and I think it was because we were intending to come down. Yeah, there's um, I got in, in full disclosure, there's another gig going on in Torquay that night. There's a yeah. charity gig, and so it's one of those we're, we're purposefully not pushing this one too hard. Oh, which, fair enough. Which, uh, which yeah, is, is a difficult thing because I'm usually the marketing machine, but yeah. the charity gig that's going on is far what's, more important. What's the charity for? And um, there's a guy called Zach Gleason who's got terminal yeah. cancer. I don't know if okay. you've seen it in the paper. No. Um, and is a gig going on at the York, and um, they've got several bands on. Dead Fly, who are a band that yes. we played with at the Yeah, we played play some of them. Um, yeah. So yeah. So, uh, yeah, so obviously, if people, I think that gig being at the York will probably finish at about 11. So if you want to go to that one and then come on down, because we won't be on till about midnight, please do. But say, if you're thinking about going to either, either 
go to that one. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely be down in. Yeah, we'll, we'll be down in, in Plymouth, won't we, with placebo? Yeah. But yeah, definitely. That that sounds great. Get, get, send us some more details for that one, and we'll, we'll plug that massively. Yeah, uh, cool. up until then as well. Right, okie dokie. So, um, did we? <laughs> I was going to ask about how you wrote your songs. Then <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can tell you if you want. Yeah, go on. Go on. Uh, go, go, go. Do you want to give us? You give you the false answers as well, or just yes, go straight in? Yes, for the real yeah, thing? Oh, no, we, we want. I'll, we want. Dan wrote the cards, and I can't read his writing, so he can. He can speak. Don't worry, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> so we've got A, B, and C. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to the microphone. I'm trying to read cards and talking to the microphone. So <laughs> I'm going to read these in reverse order. So we had, um, we've outsourced the task to an artificial intelligence. Okay. Uh, it's method writing. So with a million voices, we had to hear a million voices. It's intense. <laughs> um, and then you're going to get the true one because it's this one. Discuss. Because uh, we, we, we very much write as, um, as a sort of team, I'd say, on the songs. Yeah, uh, bits and pieces come from different people, don't they? Yeah, um, there's, there's, there's oh, yeah. It's magic that sort of happens. Certainly, when you... we're hoping to put an album out next year, yeah. so we've been doing a whole load of songwriting recently. Um, and sort of the, the magic formula at the minute, and that means basically the last song. We were always <laughs> we're sort of in a state of flux. But um, yeah, it, so far, recently, I've been sort of sending some ideas to Darren, and it's just sort of a mess of bass lines. So yeah. one song will be about 17 different riffs, stuff that's <laughs> horrendous, the stuff that actually sounds all right. And then he's sort of taken it, listened to it a couple of times, butchered it up a bit, and made something that's sort of like, that's all right. And then we've gone to sort of the rehearsal space. Chris starts drumming, which really then sort of changes the feel of everything. It starts feeling like us, because basically me and Darren just write songs that sort of these arias but no one else is and then so yeah and then chris and also the other thing we ru- really rubbish do is writing second verses so, yeah, so we write, write a lot of it's, that's a brilliant chorus a lot of bits start. and yeah and chris sort of makes sure everything actually works there is the if you if it was down to us we'd have we'd be proper sort of punk rock in the sense that we'd, we'd have like 30 seconds of noise and they'd be like yeah but that's not a thing is it mate <laughs> whereas uh, whereas chris <laughs> is very much that it's a thing isn't it darling yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna go back to tuning yeah, you was, can it's like i was one. in the room oh, yeah. that was well, a remarkable well, while we're still tuning then um a friend of mine uh, who's who's a prolific songwriter uh, uh got back catalog already uh it is it's about 150 maybe 180 odd songs in the back catalog. um but but they have got a writer's block at the moment so tips writer's block what would you do I don't know, and writer's block. Cool, but we, we'd end up writing lots and lots of little bits. doesn't matter. That we're not trying to write songs when we write songs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, there's the, my, my MacBook's sort of full of... Oh, if I mention MacBook on air, will they send me one? Is that yes. how it works? Is yes, that, they will. MacBook? Good. Right, E-type MacBook. Jaguar. Okay. E-type <laughs> right. Jaguar. Snick- <laughs> Snickers. Snickers. You Snickers, really. <laughs> yes. MacBooks are rubbish. You can't eat them. Um, <laughs> no, my MacBook is full of just noodling. Mm. It, and it, it's stuff that stuff that's probably actually quite good. In, in part a stuff that's obviously massively plagiarised I've got about yeah. four songs written that are basically Moriarty songs because when I write sort of bass lines on my own they, I end up writing riffs and then I love their riffs so oh, they're so an amazing yeah. band aren't they so yeah I mean Jordan did say to me he said uh, plagiarism's the way to go so by, so by that I think he means I can steal all of his back catalogue but um, we haven't got <laughs> to that desperate yet um, yeah. yeah often it's finding the bit that just captures the moment isn't it so that people will play something and sometimes it it, is. it goes well. Sometimes you sort of think, oh, we've sort of written this before. I don't think and sometimes can it can be one little bit that suddenly changes and then it flies. Yeah, I don't think you can force it. It's, it's, it's that magic moment when it happens and you go, oh, right, I've got to keep playing this bit over and over. This is the bit that's now in my imagination. I've got uh. to get this out. And it just sort of snowballs from there. And after playing, you, know, you sit down for three or four hours on the guitar, playing the same bit, because you go, like, I love this bit. There's something, it's going to work. Something's going to happen because it's magic. And... Uh, that's, that, that, but I think it's some not of our songs it. are proper now. Do you know what I mean, it's a Beautiful Horizons, which is going to be our new, yeah. our new single. I think. Which we're going to play. Coming up, yeah, world, oh, yeah. yes. world, world premiere. Yes, world premiere. You agree? Yeah. But no, I think, it, nice yeah, I think it's a decent it. song. I think Million Voices is a really good. Oh, song. Oh, I love Million Voices my, as well. My yeah. only trouble with our songs, I hate them. <laughs> by, <laughs> by the time we've gone through the mixing process, every band, isn't it? Yeah, and it is, and it's, and I love playing some of them live, and then there's some that I don't so much. But it is the you understand, you look. At certain bands, and you think, well, why don't they play that song? It's amazing. And you think, well, because actually they've played it thousands, thousands, and thousands of times, and they've heard it thousands of times. So the guy uh, Josiah Manning down at Momentum Studios, where we've been recording this album, we've recorded our first EP. We we haven't been going in to do the mixes, so we've been receiving <coughs> the mixes back from him. So they're sort of toing and froing, which is which is great. It seems to work reasonably well. 
which just means by the time the song actually gets finished, you've heard it so many times. And there's bits that you liked originally that you've convinced yourself that you don't anymore because <laughs> you're listening to it too much. <coughs> and you think, yeah, so that's that's the only slight slight killer. Is it I'm, like I'm when you sorry? Is it like when you look at a word for ages and yeah, when you it say doesn't word, start making sense? Like when, when vehicle. You, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dragon. I'm the opposite. I just keep playing them and dancing around in my kitchen. <laughs> That's because there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> we discussed the full moon. I, yeah. I, oh, wasn't it Ooh, big? It's huge. Shout out to the moon. Shout, shout out to the moon, to the moon yeah. this week. Oh, I'm not sure nice. if you're aware, guys, that the whole show tonight is dedicated to gravity. It is, right. It's gravity, yeah. I, yeah. I, I just don't think we give it enough credit to no, be honest. No, definitely. So. Well, I mean, Darren thinks the Earth's flat. But I mean, <laughs> the rest, he, he does. He I really, don't, don't he really doesn't. But, and we've got a whole load of. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be careful now. Because political Darren's in the house. It's a massive moon tonight, isn't it? <laughs> massive moon. A massive moon. It makes yeah. a rainbow. It looks yeah. Like. yeah, yeah. I was just, just wondering if Darren, are you all right? <laughs> yes, I'm all right. I'm fine. <laughs> right, okay, so the, I'll tell you what. The world's round. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? How can you prove it? I've never seen a pasty going into space. Oh, I have. <laughs> I have. I have, yeah. Jim posted it. Yeah. A pasty going into space. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Speak to Jordan about the flat Earth stuff. If you want right. to be, yeah, we'll do. Well, I'll tell you what else is round. Jaffa nice. cakes. Oh, yeah, please. So, so here is a song oh. all about Jaffa cakes. Mm-hmm. 